there's that oh-so-familiar sound off in the distance. It seems pretty far away, so there's not much to worry about. Wait, it's getting louder. Should I run? Stay? Oh no, it's too late. Here's how to survive murder hornets. They will snatch a honeybee out of the air, viciously biting off its head and bringing it back to their nest for their young to feed on. Just a few dozen of these can decimate thousands in only a few short hours. The Asian giant hornet, known as the murder hornet. Could these beasts murder you? How could you escape their wrath? If they might be in the neighborhood, what can you do to protect yourself? Step one, stay away. Murder hornets don't usually attack humans. However, they are considered an apex predator at the top of the food chain. They are very aggressive when it comes to other insects. That's where their murderous reputation comes from. But we are not entirely off the hook, so it's essential to avoid them at all costs. These Asian hornets can be found in low-altitude wooded areas, building their nests in the ground. Murder hornets will attack sites containing honeybees. If you happen to wander into this territory while they're stalking their next victims, well, that leads to step two. Run. Run away as fast as you can. Cover your face and seek shelter. If you have to jump into water, hopefully you can hold your breath for a very long time. Because these flying honey badgers will lie and wait until you surface. But before it gets that bad, murder hornets can display a warning, so be aware. If you see them flying back and forth, snapping their mandibles or jaws, that's a surefire sign you're in imminent danger. It shouldn't be too difficult to notice what they're doing, because these things are enormous. Murder hornets are the largest hornet globally, with queens growing up to 5 centimeters long, with wingspans topping 7 centimeters. A bug this big can be an easy target to just swat away, but don't. Don't even think about it. This will only make them angry and draw more of them to you. Murder hornets are incredible flyers, reaching speeds of up to 32 kilometers an hour. So if more show up, the odds are stacked against you and the last thing you want to experience is the excruciating pain of the murder hornet sting. And what happens next? Step 3. Treat the sting immediately. First of all, getting stung by a murder hornet is like getting punctured by a red-hot nail due to their long stingers. The amount of venom a giant hornet can inject is 1,100 micrograms. This venom carries neurotoxins that can kill red blood cells and dissolve skin. It also has kinins, which dilate blood vessels, mastoparin, a toxin, and phospholipase, which breaks down immune cells and causes widespread inflammation. Combining these together creates a deadly cocktail that can degrade blood and muscle cells. This can stop your kidneys from working. If you're not allergic to bee stings, you'd need to be stung by a couple hundred murder hornets before the toxins kill you. And that could happen. If you can't escape, murder hornets won't stop with one sting. They'll continue to relentlessly sting away until they're satisfied you're no longer a threat. Talk about holding a grudge. Okay, now that you know what's going on in your body and you fled the area, treat the murder hornet sting like a normal bee or wasp sting. And don't rub the spot where you've been stung, as that will spread the venom. Apply ice or a cold compress to the site to lessen inflammation seek medical attention. You may seem fine, but you don't want to risk having a bad reaction to the venom. Nathaniel Peterson provoked a murder hornet into stinging him and described more than a day of searing pain and changed to a constant itching. His arm swelled up like a hot dog. Step 4. Wear protective clothing. If you know in advance that you could be encountering these flying giants, you'll want to make sure you're wearing the right clothing. Beekeepers and researchers working with Asian hornets wear protective clothing like thick sweatshirts and a beekeeper suit to avoid a hornet stinger penetrating their skin. Unfortunately, no amount of protective clothing will help you in an elephant stampede or a hippo attack. But don't worry, we've got you covered. To be prepared and stay alive, 
keep watching How to Survive.